In this video, we will know how to reduce weight after delivery in easy yet effective and sustainable way. Whether it is normal delivery, C-section, your baby is on breastfeed or formula feed. Before you start reducing weight after delivery, give yourself time, 3 to 6 months of time to heal, to regain your strength. It is tremendous accomplishment to carry and nurture baby during months of pregnancy and after childbirth. So avoid putting pressure on yourself to bounce back and shape immediately after delivery. For every mom, ideal weight is different according to their age, gender and height. What should be your ideal weight range? This is something you need to decide. In which weight range you feel energetic, active and light? For me, I always felt energetic, active and light in weight between 50 kg to 53 kg. And when my first child, Imad, was born, I reached to 67 kg. And after one year of Imad's birth, I was still 67 kg. Imad was born through normal delivery, but he was born extremely premature and he was in an ICU for 103 days. So I couldn't breastfeed him. So the calories I was consuming were not used by my body to produce breast milk. I had to adopt a strategy to cut off calories in easy and effective way. How I reduced weight after normal delivery when baby was on formula feed. I paid close attention to my sugar intake. Sugar is quickly digested by our body, which means sugar don't help us to feel full for long time. And eating food that don't help you to feel full is an easy way to consume more calories than your body actually needs, which leads to weight gain. Sugar is also defined as empty calorie, which means literally containing nothing. No essential vitamins, no minerals. Sugary food provides nothing to value your body beyond calories that gains excess weight. For example, if you go for brisk walk for an hour, brisk walk is about 3 miles per hour or 4.8 km per hour. During this brisk walk, you burn 250 calories. You came back home and you had two gulab jamun within a minute and that gulab jamun contains 300 calories and after eating those gulab jamun you will not feel full you still need to eat something in 300 to 400 calories you can have entire meal which will help you to feel full for hours so it is extremely important to cut off sugar as much as possible. For me, I paid close attention what sweets I am consuming. Once in a blue moon, I was eating some mithai or cake, but regularly I was consuming sugar in chai. I have two to three cup chai in a day and I use one teaspoon sugar in each cup of chai. Then I replace that sugar with stevia. Stevia is plant-based sweetener with zero calorie. You know how much calories a one teaspoon sugar contains? Only 16 calories. But I was having three cup of chai in a day, which means 48 calories in a day. You can think even 48 calories are not too much. But if you multiply these 48 calories by 30 days, these were 1440 calories and if you multiply these 1440 calories by 12 months it is 17,280 calories so if you think in one cup of chai if you will reduce 16 calories that will not make big difference but in long term it is going to make big difference 17,280 calories lesser than previous year will definitely help you to reduce weight and feel healthier with chai i used to have namkeen which was mostly deep fried i replaced that namkeen with homemade uh, puff rice, roasted chickpea and roasted peanut namkeen. So I am still enjoying my chai with namkeen but in much healthier way. Though if I go to someone's home and they offer me chai with sugar, 
I have it. I don't have any problem because once in a blue moon, it is okay. But at home, mostly I am not having sugar in my tea. I stopped keeping any kind of junk food at home. I replaced all the junk with fruits, vegetable, salad and dry fruits. When you have no junk option available at home, you have to have healthy few tips for you if you eating any kind of junk it can be gulab jamun samosa chocolate cold drink burger pizza you please search on internet how many calories it contains once in 15 days or one month you can have little bit junk it is okay but control the portion have little bit don't have too much junk so next time when you are going to eat junk ask yourself you want that pleasure for taste buds for few moments or you can see long term consequences what will happen with your health i eat 80% of my appetite it is also called portion control 80% of appetite means if my diet is two roti one bowl of dal sabzi rice and salad then i will have only one and a half roti little lesser dal little lesser sabzi and little lesser rice and more salad and still i can feel full with this diet how eat slowly when you eat slowly and chew your food well chewing food longer breaks down more which helps your stomach to digest it well and to absorb more nutrients when you eat slow it take longer time to finish food and it take approximate 20 minute from the time you start eating send out signal of fullness this is very important step to reduce weight and feel healthier now i am going to share how i reduce weight after my second delivery it was c section and my baby was on exclusive breast milk after this i will share few tips for both types of pregnancies let it be normal delivery or c section let your baby be on breast feed or formula feed you just want to lose weight it is not about postpartum weight loss after the birth of my second child it was c section and my baby was on exclusively on breast milk and it took me exactly 13 months to go back to my not pre pregnancy weight pre wedding weight how it happened because i am aware according to my age my gender and my height i need to consume 1851 calories in a day to maintain my ideal weight and 1481 calories if i want to reduce weight and because i am exclusively breastfeeding mother i need to consume 330 to 500 calories extra so i can nourish my baby well for 6 months i consumed 2200 calories per day because that time my focus was to nourish my baby the best i can by eating healthy food like lentils beans vegetables salad fruits dry fruits milks etc 6 months after childbirth i reduced these calories to 1800 calories per day now my baby was on semi solids and breast milk and baby is getting nutrients from semi solid too by this time my weight was nearly 68 kg and this was the time when i reduced my calories to 1800 and i started reducing my weight because 1800 calories i need to eat to maintain my weight but because my baby is having breast milk and my calories are used to produce breast milk and it accelerated my weight loss journey here two things i want to mention breastfeeding weight loss is myth breastfeeding should not use as a weight loss method breastfeeding moms can actually gain weight if they don't pay close attention to their calories intake and the second thing take calcium and iron supplement till the time you are breastfeeding baby let it be 6 month or 1 year or 2 years so you don't face calcium deficiency or iron deficiency after all your health is as important as baby's health loss in general stay hydrated drinking water can help by increasing your metabolic rate most of our metabolic process 
takes place in the presence of water. Water helps in digestion of food and consequently help burn more calories. This will lead to lose weight and reduce belly fat. Water also helps us to feel full. Walking is one of the simplest way to ease into fitness routine after delivery. Even a regular gentle walk 30 to 45 minutes every day can do wonders with your body. It will be great and it will be more beneficial if you can bring baby as well in front pack. Breathing exercise. You can do deep breathing for 4 to 5 minutes every day. For 3 seconds, breathe in. For 3 seconds, try to hold your breath in. And after 3 seconds, exhale through mouth. Do this for 5 minutes every day. Do Kapal Bhati. Kapal Bhati is best to burn belly fat as the abdomen mainly involved during this practice. Kapal Bhati strengthens and stimulates digestion system. It promotes blood circulation. It strengthens your abdominal muscles. And this contract and relax, contract and relax holds your abs and help you to reduce belly fat as well as overall weight. Get enough sleep. You already know this is tough. Your little one wants you around the clock with him or her. But you need to do whatever possible to get adequate sleep. Lack of sleep can negatively affect your weight. Research shows that lack of sleep is related to retain more weight after pregnancy. Sleep well, eat healthy, stay hydrated, be active and most importantly mamas, you need to have command over your taste buds. Be mindful what are you consuming. You can do it. You will do it. If you found this video informative, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. See you soon.